and welcome back to Chris Kitchen. Today I'm going to share with you my recipe for these chocolate dessert shots and trifle shots. I made them for the first time on Eid and they were a success but I didn't record it and so I made another batch to share this recipe with you and trust me they taste amazing. So keep watching for the recipe. In a large saucepan you want to add your milk and you want to cook this for about 5-10 to 10 minutes on a high flame. Whilst that is boiling away you want to add 4 tablespoons of custard powder into a bowl and to this bowl you want to add 4 tablespoons of milk and give that a good mix. To your milk you want to add a quarter cup of sugar and give that a good whisk and you want to cook this until it reaches a boil. Once it's reached a boil you want to lower the flame then and add in your custard powder. Add this in very slowly and keep whisking. If you don't whisk you will get lumpy custard and that's not what you want so make sure you keep whisking. Make sure your custard isn't too thick as it will set when it is cooling down. If yours is quite thick then just add a bit more milk or if it's too thin then add another teaspoon of custard powder. And then remove it off heat and then you want to sieve it to make sure there aren't any lumps in your custard. I am sharing my recipe for two different types of dessert shots. We're making trifle ones and also chocolate mousse dessert shots so therefore you want to separate your custard now into two bowls. Cover one bowl with cling film and you want to chill this for 30 minutes. This custard will be used for the trifle. To the other bowl of custard you want to set that aside and in the meantime melt some chocolate and also get your cocoa powder out and you want to add the melted chocolate and cocoa powder to the custard and give that a good mix. Now you want to chill this one for 30 minutes as well. When the chocolate sets it will create a mousse like texture. Whilst the custard is setting in the fridge you can move on to this step. Try for these jelly so follow the instructions on the packet to make your jelly. And then you want to pour your jelly into your dessert shot. I ordered mine from Amazon, I have linked it in the description box below. They are 3 oz and the amount we are making should make 12 trifle shots and 12 chocolate shots. Once you have poured all the jelly into the dessert shots, you want to refrigerate until they are set. For the chocolate dessert shots, you want to break up 5 cupcakes. I am using ready-made chocolate cupcakes that you can find in most supermarkets. If you want to make your own chocolate cupcakes, then feel free to use that. And then you want to roughly add 2 teaspoons worth of crushed chocolate cake into each dessert shot. A little trick I like to use is to get another dessert shot and to push the cake mixture right down to the bottom. It just compresses it all together and it gives it a nice clean look at the end. Mm -hmm. 
whilst that is in the refrigerator chilling you want to move on to whipping your double cream so you want to whip this until soft peaks form After 30 minutes of chilling the custard, you want to place them into a piping bag. It will just make it a lot easier when you are pouring it into the dessert shots. For the custard piping bags, I am not cutting and the piping bag just yet as the custard will leak through however for the whipped cream I am cutting about an inch off at the end and placing a piping tip at the bottom I am using the Wilton 1M for the whipped cream if you don't have a piping tip then feel free to skip that part out and now you're all set to layer up so for the chocolate ones you want to place in your chocolate mousse custard and then once you've placed that you want to pipe whipped cream on top as well. If you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. I post new videos every week. And to decorate you just want to add about one teaspoon worth of crushed chocolate to each dessert shot. For the trifle ones you just want to add custard on top of your jelly and once you've added your custard, you just want to finish off with whipped cream. A little trick is to tap each dessert shot a few times just to make sure that the custard is nice and level and all the air bubbles do come to the top. Now to decorate you can use any fruit of your choice, I'm using one strawberry and two blueberries and it gives it a really nice cute look. I hope you enjoy the recipe, make sure you like, comment and subscribe and thank you for all the support so far. I love all the recreations you guys have been sending me on Instagram. If you do make any of my recipes feel free to send me pictures, the link is in the description box below. Thank you for watching.